Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing certainly is bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch dancers from conventional to softball and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, no. it's unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Bushmills, Northern Ireland, Assassin. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Big Go. punch land. Ooh. Ooh. Landed a good uppercut there. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Deuce hurt. So and a great performance by this young man. Right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 49 seconds of the very first round. Going the winner by... 
Anderson. And there is the man of the moment, and what a...